Developing news from KXAN Austin News. Two Pflugerville schools were on lockdown today after a police chase and officer involved shooting near the high school. That tops our news at 6. Hello, I'm Leslie Rohde. I'm Robert Hadlock. It all started around noon when the driver of an SUV failed to yield. It happened on Regis Drive. Officers chasing the SUV for three minutes before a shots fired call came in near the intersection of Swenson Farms and Finning Lane. KXA and Shannon Wolfson is live at the scene with the latest developments. Robert Pflugerville Police, Texas Rangers and DPS have set up a command post here on Swenson Farm. Obviously, this investigation still ongoing. It's been about six hours now. This area is residential and just north of Pflugerville High School. Just beyond that trailer you see, an officer reportedly fired his gun at a fleeing SUV. Police say that SUV was driving erratically through the neighborhood, even hit two parked cars during that three-minute chase. Six officers chased the suspects, reaching 55 miles an hour at one point. Pflugerville police are being vague about exactly what happened, only saying that even officer fired his weapon. They will not confirm the suspect was shot. Yet the curb which brought the chase to a stop. The passenger in that vehicle surrendered immediately. Uh, we heard two pops, and we've had a couple of police chases down here before, so we kind of knew what was going on and all the sirens, and we don't know if the pops were gunshots or if they were the tires over the, the coming up over the curb. We pursue vehicles that run from us, and so the, there was a traffic violation. The vehicle failed to yield right away, pull over, so the officers pursued. Now, Texas Rangers are assisting in this investigation, which is standard procedure for an officer-involved shooting. Obviously, this investigation, as we mentioned, is ongoing. We are waiting on to hear the names of the officers involved, as well as the condition of the man who was shot. And coming up tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock, we're going to hear from a man whose vehicle was hit by these fleeing suspects. For now, we're live in Pflugerville. Shannon Wolfson, KXAN, Austin News.